What is up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> we got her all cleaned up. Look at the truck is looking all spiffy. Looking all spiffy. What's up, Hill? Okay. All right. Well, we're out of here. We're out of this this jam. Uh, we are still here at Lake Champlain. Let me show you real quick, guys, what's going on. Uh, welcome back to the channel. So, there she is right there. This lake right here has been very, very good to me over the years. Matter of fact, I've won three tour event tournaments and finished fourth two other times. Love this lake. I'm a little mad at her right now, just a little bit, because I didn't do well this week. I did bad. Um, hopefully, you got to see the videos, the practice videos. You, you obviously saw me on some good fish tournament was was a train wreck guys i do apologize for being so frustrated that second day in that tournament but you just have to go watch and see so many crazy things happen but nevertheless we are done we're done with her and i and i do want to come back because it will be a different result the next time i promise we're now starting the travel vlog the st lawrence river the final event of the year yes the final one. What does the final one mean? Where are we at in the season? So if you guys have been following along all year, which I hope you have, Road to the Classic, Unfinished Family Business, you know, we've had a we've had a, a decent year up until now. Now we're got ourselves in a weird spot, in a weird spot. We're still good for points, but I have to go catch them at the St. Lawrence. I just can't bomb the tournament. That's what it, I don't have to win. I don't have to make a top 10. There's a lot of people that are in really bad shape and they're having to do a lot of miraculous things in this tournament, but I just need to go have a good time. I'm a little spun out after this event, but I'm excited about the St. Lawrence. I've never fished this part of the river ever, so it's new, and I like new. I like new, exciting things. So we're gonna just gonna put our heads down and, and get after it. Now, we're gonna make a short drive, hour and a half to where we're staying. We're gonna bring you guys along. We're actually gonna go uh, stop on another part of the river and fish for a few hours with Hillary and Jacob. And do some fun stuff so we'll show you a few clips of that and we're gonna make a youtube video out of it but but anyways let's go let's go the travel vlog st lawrence river the final push right, we're here now on the st lawrence this is uh i don't know what you call it but this is the site so that's the dam right there we can literally fish on the other side of that for the Bassmaster event from there to lake ontario which is 80 miles or so but we're gonna fish today. This is legal water here. Canterbury and a bunch of other guys are already here. And this is the, um, you know, William Clute, my good buddy. We fished with him before. This is this is that part of the river. And so we're gonna just go out here, mess around a little bit. I have uh, some drop shots and stuff. I want to just kind of play around with drifts because this time of the year, these fish, when they leave these spawning areas right here, they'll drop off into the river into 15, 20, 25 foot of water. You literally drift with the current and. It just takes a minute. I want to get my rhythm down. I want to just get, just kind of mess around, try to catch a few, and that's what today's going to be. We're going to shoot a little video, though. Hillary and I and Jacob, we're going to go out here and mess around. We're going to let McCoy and Dylan go check into the house. All right, so a little bit of an update on this particular video series here. So we've had Scott and Matt in all the videos, and they're going to be in this video as well. But we had some housing issues where we, we, <laughs> we had a house rented, literally, and the lady sold the house. And when she sold the house, there was nothing else available, so we all had to kind of just find a place to stay. And we found a house in Canterbury, and Matt and Jay Yellows have a house, so they're gonna be staying in a house down the street, literally, and we're in another house, kind of like we did this time with two little cabins in this last tournament. But, so they're not gonna be in the room with us. I'm gonna be in the room with the boys and Hillary and Jacob, and we'll let Canterbury and all them be in a house down the street. So, uh, be a little bit separation there, but we'll still hang out and do some things, and of course, you know, be on the water together and do all that. So, a little bit different with this video. What's he doing? He's not allowed to fish today. Today's a no fishing day. Today's a no fishing day. Today's an edit day only. Edit day only. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. So we're gonna go shoot a little video today and uh, be looking for that on the channel. I don't know if that video, this video we're gonna shoot today with Hillary and Jacob, we're gonna probably air after. May air before, I'm not sure, but definitely jump on the channel, check it out. And, um, yeah, good stuff. So if everybody wants to know, like, what really goes down when we get ready to film an episode, you know, like, you're thinking, like, camera guys are all busy doing their stuff, getting everything ready. Um, see, I'm getting tackle ready. I'm getting, like, all the rods ready for everybody. And they're literally fishing. Yeah, they're fishing right now in the background. Skipping rocks. 
actually. Yeah, so Dylan, Dylan, Dylan's terrible at skipping rocks. Yeah, Jake is skipping rocks. McCoy skipping rocks. Hillary's. What are y'all doing over there? Sam, he's right there. He's looking at you. He's turning around. Oh, oh, oh. Watch your line. No, your line went slack. There we go. Oh. Got him. Play him easy. Play him easy. That's a big one. Holy cow. <laughs> that was so cool. Got him. Golly, Dad, that is a giant. You want to help you? Get him? You're gonna get him? Got him! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Uh, Let's go! Check that out! <laughs> you did that 100% yeah. by yourself. That was cool. Landed him in everything. That's crazy how they don't freak out when you grab him by the belly. Yeah. Like I just grabbed him by the belly and he was just like, okay. Let me let me let me go. That's awesome, That's a Hill. Donkey. Good job. Oh, 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 oh smart. He's falling. Don't pull it, don't pull it. Let's see. He's got it. He's, he's no. gonna get it. He's got he's it. Got it. Go. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, Let's go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was cool. That was awesome. That was so huh? cool. Jake, that other one's just chilling. Come on, get up here. Dude, he wrecked it. Jacob, come on, dude. Oh, there's a big one right there. Dude, right there's there. There's a good one. Get the drop shot. Drop Jacob, shot. Hurry up. Got him, Jake? Jake got him. No way. That was cool. Good job, Hill. There you go, Jake. Look at that. That, that is so cool. <laughs> Put him on that side. Oh. Let it sink. Got him. Oh, oh what are you oh doing? Gosh. It popped at Dude, the leader. It popped the entire thing. I know you set the hook like you're um, like frog fishing. No, I didn't. What? I didn't that hard. <laughs> what? I'm gonna play that back. I've got it on film, dude. You put one foot back and hit it as hard as you could possibly hit it. Actually, there's our deal. Oh, we need to get it. Or accommodations. Is that the dome is house? That a dome? We're staying in the dome? It's an igloo. Are we in a dome for Dude, real? Dude, yeah. what is that? Really? That's pretty That's sweet. That's cool. Oh, well, look at this. We got our own little area. All right, we're here. This is uh, this is our home for the week. There we go. Come on back. What's up? I look like a mess right now. I just want to say hello. So, was that not cool, guys? I mean, we, she did well. She did well. She caught some nice fish. You did. You did great. And so, the full video will be on the channel. Probably after this. Yeah, after this for sure. So, we'll have that up. Cool. Very cool. This is mine. Yay! Hey! What? <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? You look like one of those creatures. Dude, you look like a Up here in the loft, with like they didn't finish the floor. I thought you were like, I thought you were like Annabelle or something, bro. Your hair makes you look like hey, so Dylan. puppet. I know. I thought Dylan. Oh, hey, Dylan's you, over you there. Done that. Oh, that uh, was... Like, stick your head down there and watch she's laying in bed. <laughs> you shouldn't have, should have done that right now. You should have done that later. I would have absolutely had a heart attack. Okay, so we have one bedroom there. We have a second bedroom here. Okay. Then we have this area. This area. Oh, this is cool. We have the backyard, which is great. And that frog bite. Oh my gosh. This frog Ooh. bite right there. Oh, there's a little dock too, dude. Yeah, look, look. This wow, is cool. that's gnarly. See, I did well. I did well. We also got so much wood. Yeah. So much wood. So that is y'all. Got a bathroom up here? Oh, dude, this is a cool little bathroom. Don't you dare shut the door on me. No. Okay. What is the architectural benefit of a dome house? Just more open. I feel like it's more open so your house feels bigger. Like, you know those houses you walk in, they have the high-rise ceilings? Yeah. It's kind of that same effect. I mean, it's an interesting, unique kind of situation. But it can't be easy to make. No, it's not. Seems like it would be very ex expensive to make. Well, yeah, and you gotta think too, like, so what is there's the no beams going across and like right. supporting it. Like, how is it up? Yeah, it's like supporting itself. Probably. Like, you know, when you make an igloo, I guess you don't really know what's not. Yeah, in Florida, we haven't done that very often. <laughs> not very often. I don't know how smart that is. What the heck? I roll out of band. Yeah. 
I mean, what if a little toddler was up here and I walked there? We just. Dude, I can literally make a sandwich right here on the counter. Really? I'm reaching down at the bread loaf right now. There's bread? That's the kitchen. Oh. Get a little uh, paper clip. Like, I'll be like, Jake. Hand of hand yeah. bread. Snacks. Yeah. Uh, I like it. I like it. It's, it's kind of hard to find. You would think, like, in upstate New York, there would be just, like, big, beautiful homes everywhere. And, and. It's hard to find a good one to rent, so this was nice. Got good parking. Greg's the guy that owns this, and so you've done a good job, Greg. Thank you for letting us uh, enjoy your property here. So now it is time to rig tackle, and uh, this video's not over. We're gonna rig some tackle, get ready for tomorrow. Jake's gonna charge you dinner tonight, and uh, it is now time to start working on stuff. So to prepare for tomorrow. Back to back, Jack. Oh, also huge deal. Congratulations to Brian Schmidt for winning Champlain. Awesome job, dude. Okay, awesome job. Seriously, hats off to you. You dominated that thing. Um, so many guys did well. So good job to everybody in the top ten. The fish were biting, obviously. It literally makes me sick. I don't know what happened, guys. I mean, it was. <sighs> I'm stuck in the twilight zone. I really don't know. I mean, I sit here and watch these guys catch fish, and, and a lot of these guys are catching fish in places that I like to catch fish and doing things I like to do. And I just, I just didn't do that. I actually, um, that's for 2020, okay? It's for the 2020. So if you hadn't seen it in 2020, go back and check it out. But I talk all about it. But we're done, okay? We're done after tonight, and we're talking about Champlain, okay? Don't ask me another question about Champlain. You either. <laughs>